Welcome back to Amazing Chirping, the channel that takes you on a journey through the wonders of the natural world. I am Daniel, and today we are diving deep into the mesmerizing world of the Rafflesia arnoldii, a flower that is as fascinating as it is mysterious. But before we begin, remember that our channel is all about sharing the joy of discovery, fostering a sense of community, and working hard to cater to your desires professionally. So let's get started. Our journey begins with a tiny seed, hardly larger than sawdust, hidden beneath the bark of a woody vine. After months, or even years, a parasitic bud emerges, resembling a golf ball-sized knob that's almost indistinguishable from its host, the tetrastigma vine. Rafflesia is mysterious. It lacks the normal roots, stems, or leaves of other plants. Instead, it gets all its nutrients from its host vine. The flower also has a very short lifespan of less than a week. This makes pollination difficult as the separate male and female plants must bloom simultaneously within close range. As we delve deeper into the world of Rafflesia, we must acknowledge the challenges it faces. The Rafflesia genus, comprising around 30 stinky species, exclusively found in Southeast Asian rainforests, is under threat. Habitat destruction and illegal harvesting for dubious medicinal benefits are pushing several of these species to the brink of extinction. For those still watching, here is an intriguing bonus fact. It takes nearly a year after blooming for the Rafflesia to form a new bud. Seeing one of these rare flowers is a truly special occurrence. Rafflesia, often called the corpse flower, is a parasite. It naturally limits its numbers so as not to overwhelm its host plants. But the human-driven pressures on its habitat put this remarkable flower at odds with its own survival. Members of the Rafflesia genus are incredibly unique. For instance, do you know Rafflesia arnoldii holds the record for being the world's largest individual flower, measuring over three feet in diameter and weighing around 20 pounds. When animals are on the brink of extinction, conservationists rush to breed them in captivity. Sophie Mursidawati, a dedicated botanist at Bogor Botanical Gardens, is the first to successfully cultivate Rafflesia far from its natural habitat. She's eager to share her techniques and unlock the secrets of this natural wonder before it disappears. Mercedes efforts are essential for the preservation of Rafflesia. However, there's a debate about whether cultivation should be the primary focus. Some experts argue that protecting Rafflesia in its natural habitat should take precedence, while others believe that cultivating these flowers can increase their accessibility to the world and promote conservation. While the flower's aroma may be off-putting to humans, it's an irresistible lure for these flies. In a curious twist of nature's plan, Rafflesia depends on these carrion flies to transport pollen from one flower to another, facilitating its reproduction. So, beyond its impressive size, Rafflesia's strategy for survival involves a fascinating partnership with these unassuming pollinators. It's a testament to the incredible adaptability and ingenuity that nature employs to ensure the continuation of life, even in the most extraordinary and unexpected ways. The Rafflesia is not just a flower, it's a symbol of our natural world's wonders. Like the panda, it's a tourism magnet and a source of revenue for local communities. It's even one of Indonesia's national flowers. Losing the Rafflesia would mean losing a part of our national identity. 
Here's an incredible fact about Rafflesia. In the world of botanical wonders, the Rafflesia arnoldi takes the crown for its captivating gigantism. This extraordinary flower can grow up to a staggering three feet in diameter, making it not only the largest individual flower, but also a true behemoth in the plant kingdom. To put it into perspective, imagine a flower bigger than your average beach ball, and you've got the Rafflesia arnoldi, a true marvel of nature's grand designs. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and check out our playlist. You can also watch our video, From Zero to Hero, transforming into a planet-saving superstar by clicking the link in the description. Join us next week for another exciting adventure into the world of wildlife.